Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Tonight in Grade 5 we are working on Module 2, Lesson 6, and in tonight's lesson we are connecting area models and the distributive property to partial products of the standard algorithm. You'll notice that we're using, at the very beginning, we're using the area model, which is something that Eureka Math starts in about the second grade, and for students in my class they've had at least uh, since third grade. Um, and you'll notice in the standard algorithm, the sort of vertical uh, multiplication model, you'll notice that we do things a very very slightly different from the way you were probably taught if you're a parent or a guardian of one of the students in fifth grade. Okay, let's take a look at a few problems tonight. Problem number one. Directions are pretty lengthy. Let's read them. Draw an area model, then solve using the standard algorithm. Use arrows to match the partial products from your area model to the partial products in the algorithm. So I'm going to take a look at 1a. 1a tells me I'm going to multiply 27 by 36, and we do that, they've set it up here as the standard algorithm over here. So the first thing I need to do is I need to draw an area model. I'm going to draw an area model like this. Let's see, I'm going to say this is 36, that's a side that's 36 units long, right? We've got 30 units here and 6 units here, and then I'm going to say we've got uh, our other side is, let's see, 27, so I'm going to say this is 20 units long here and 7 units long there. So we now have a rectangle that is 36 units on one side and 27 units on the other side, which is exactly the multiplication problem we're trying to do. We're trying to multiply a side of 36 times a side of 27. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to switch to a slightly wider pen here, um, and we'll see what we can get done. All right. Well, let's see. 20 times 6. 6 times 20, I think we can do in our head. Let's see. 6 times 20, that's 6 times 2 tens, or 12 tens, so that's 120. And let's see, 6 times 7, that's really straightforward, that's 42. And now I can probably mentally add those two together. 120 plus 42, let's see, that's 2 1s, 6 10s, and 100. All right, now let's go over here to our standard algorithm and see if we can find the same, um, the same multiplication problem over here. So if we did multiplication like we normally did, we would say, we would start with the 6, right? We'd say we've got, we're going to multiply this 6 times seven ones. Six copies of seven ones is 42 ones. So we're going to put the two down here and then we'll put the four on the line. Now, I appreciate that that's going to be a little hard to see. So I'm going to zoom in and out for this. We've got a four on the line here. Now, again, people who learned this math previously, they would have put the four somewhere here up top. But again, we're going to have a problem when we get to our second factor here. When we start multiplying three tens, we're going to have a lot of junk up here. And that's why Eureka does it down here on the line. But let's keep going. Let's see, our second uh, part, we've got 6 times 2 tens. Well, 6 times 2 tens would be 12 tens, plus the 4 that we already have. So 6 times 2 is 12, plus 4 is 16. would be 16 tens. And, we're, and we cross out that 4 to indicate that we've used that up. Now let's go ahead and zoom that back out and say, oh, of course, look at that. We've still, we've got our first partial product, right? We, we, in our area model, we came up with 162. And in our standard algorithm, we came up with 162 as well. So let's move on to the next, uh, the next part. Let's see. We're going to multiply 3 tens by 2 tens, or 30 times 20. 3 tens times 2 tens would give us, well, let's see, 3 times 2 is 6, and 10 times 10 is 100, so that must be 600, 600. And then 3 tens times 7 would be 21 tens. 21 tens is 210, and that tells me that this partial product is going to be 600, plus 210, or 810. I'm going to zoom back in over here to our second part of our standard algorithm, and we'll try to work on that. Let's see. Well, we've got three, sorry, let me switch. We've got three tens times seven. Three tens times seven is 21 tens. So let's see, 21 tens, there's one ten, and then we've got our two underneath, so we put that here. And again, this is a slight difference in our, in our previous uh, in, your, in your parents' or your guardian's mathematics, we would have put the 2 somewhere up here. But we try to keep the stuff down below now where we can cross it out. And then our second part of our uh, multiplication, we're multiplying 3 tens times 2 tens. Well, that's 6 hundreds plus the 2 that we already have would give us 8 hundreds. And again, we cross that part out. So again, I'm going to zoom back out. Look what we've got here. We've got our 810 and our 810 and our 162, and we're ready to do our addition. Now in our area model, we would just go ahead and write down here 162 plus 180, I'm sorry, plus 810 equals, let's see, two ones, seven tens, and nine hundreds. 
And if we did our uh, standard algorithm thing, we would just go ahead and add up here. Let's see, we've got two ones plus zero ones is two ones. Let's see, six tens plus one ten would be seven tens. And finally, 100 plus 800 would be 900. And what do you know? 972, whether we use the area model or the standard algorithm. So this is a full example of how we would set up our area model and how we would relate that area model to the standard algorithm. We are doing the exact same thing. We are distributing the multiplication, right? We are multiplying 6 times both parts of 27. We are multiplying 30 times both parts of 27. That's exactly what we're doing here in our standard algorithm. When we come up with our two partial products here on our area model, they are exactly the same as the two partial products we come up with over here in our standard algorithm. So when we add them together, it is no surprise at all that we come up with our same answer. Awesome. Let's take a look at another problem. Problem number two. Problem number two says solve using the standard algorithm. Okay, well, I'm going to do, I think, maybe the, well, let's see, what should we do? I'm going to do 2B. 2B. I'm going to sort of slide over there. Let's say 2B. 2B, we're asked to multiply 496 times 53. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up over here. 496 times 53. Let's see, the first step of our standard algorithm is to take our ones unit and go ahead and multiply it times each part of our number here on top, our factor on top. So three times six ones would be 18 ones. So 18 ones we would record like that, right? 18 ones is eight ones and one ten. Let's go ahead and multiply the three times our tens. Three times nine tens would be 27 tens, plus this other one would make 28 tens. We've used that up. 28 tens, we put our two on the line. That's 28. Let's see, our next part, 3 times 4 hundreds, that would be 12 hundreds, plus 2 more would be 14 hundreds. 14 hundreds would go like that, 14 hundreds, and now we've used up our 2 on the line. Beautiful. So we've done our first part of our multiplication, our first part of our distributive property. We've multiplied the 3 times the whole number, 496. Now we need to do the same thing with the 5 tens. So let's do it. 5 tens times 6 ones would be, let's see, 5 times 6 is 30 tens, right? 5 times 6 is 30, but we're talking about 30 tens, so that's 300. So 300, well, let's see, there's the 100 part, and then we put the 3 here underneath. That's 300. Now let's see our next part. Let's see, 5 tens times 9 tens. Let's see, that would be 45, 45 hundreds, plus the 3 hundreds we already have would be 48 hundreds. So 8, and then we put our 4 underneath. Awesome. Next part. 5 times 5 tens times 4 hundreds would be 20 thousands, right? Because so tens times hundreds would be 10, 10, 10. Yeah, that's thousands. Plus the 0 from here. So 20 thousands plus the 4 thousands we already had out here. So 20 thousands plus 4 more thousands would be 24 thousands. Give us 24 thousands, and we've used up the 4. So let's go ahead up and, and add up our partial products. In our ones column, we have eight. In our tens column, we have eight. In our hundreds column, we have four plus eight is 12. That's, we put our one down here on the line. In our thousands column, we have one plus four plus one would be six. And finally, in our ten thousands column, we have just this remaining two. So we've got our answer, 26,288. Awesome. For our last problem, I'm only going to help you with the setup. The setup of this problem. I want to go ahead and read through. We've got a read, draw, and write strategy in Eureka Math, right? Let's go ahead and read. Each of the 25 students in Mr. McDonald's class sold 16 raffle tickets. If each ticket cost $15, how much money did Mr. Donald's, McDonald's students raise? Well, let's see. First, I want to figure out how many tickets they sold. Let's see. I think we've got we could set this up like kind of like an area model, actually. We could say, well, let's see. They are, there are 25 students, and they each sold 16 raffle tickets, right? And we could think of it. Each one of these students sold 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? 16 across times 25. That's our multiplication problem. This is just going to tell us the number of tickets, right? So I'm just going to draw these. And then once we had that, let's say... Each ticket, so we fill in our number of tickets over here, and we'd say each ticket costs how much? Oh, $15, right? $15. So we'd need to do that multiplication. We'd need to say the number of tickets times 15 
would give us the overall cost, right? This, uh, this product here. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you to figuring out whether I've got the drawings right. See if you agree. You might have yours be a little bit different. They might have different, they might be on different sides of our rectangle, of our area model. Um, and then to go ahead and do the multiplication to figure this out. And that's all the help I'm going to give you for this one. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.